All of the interior parts are resin the same as the body and the rest of the kit pretty much apart from all of the bare metal pieces. These were first prepped by sanding them a bit, removing some of the mold lines and then sprayed with a couple coats of Tamiya primer. This is their light grey primer for uh, metal and plastic and it also works really well on resin. After that was finished I let that sit and cure for about 30 minutes before moving on to applying mostly black on the pieces and some other components also got painted in a gunmetal just to give it a different finish than the entire black interior already had. For the contrasting color on the interior I decided to go with cream. I was debating between a yellow, a white or a cream and I decided to go with a mix between yellow and white which of course is cream. So that was painted on the inside parts of the seats and also some of the accenting pieces that will be glued onto the interior later and also the lower half of the dashboard. That was then masked off and the rest of the interior was painted black. After that was said and done I could move on to the smaller details and the brush painting starting off with some black and then also some gloss black and of course some silver highlights here and there too. I could have gone completely overboard with the carbon fiber, do it on the full exterior parts that were gloss black and also a lot more of the trim pieces on the interior. However, I didn't really want to do that as I think the gloss black on the exterior looks kind of classy on this sports car and some of the interior components do look good in just a gunmetal finish and other parts like the seats I thought did deserve some extra attention as that is standard in the cars if you order this seat. So I just made a quick template with some masking tape, just draw around the areas with a permanent marker, put it onto the carbon fiber decals, cut it out, and then start placing the decals. I'm using some decal setting solution just to help stick and also uh, configure the parts and pieces together and then move on to softening solution to completely form it and finish it off. There are multiple videos on my channel in the how to section so feel free to check those out as well if you want to know more about this specific process. Some of the interior parts also needed a bit of carpet so I laid down a thick layer of semi-gloss clear coat from Tamiya with a brush and then sprinkled some flocking on top of it to simulate the carpeted look. In the kit there are a couple of pieces of photo edge for the seat belts. Now you need some belt material as well to finish that detail off. So I took out some of the scale production seat belt material, added the buckle from the kit and glued it all together. 
And with that, most of the detailing is now complete, so I could move on to assembly. Thank you. 